Good morning. Welcome to my July 2022 recap video where I go over all the stuff I did and didn't do in June and all the stuff I'm hoping to do in July. It's an absolutely perfect morning. Uh, it's July 2nd. Yes, I've left this video to the very last minute. So if you're watching this on a Saturday, uh, that's a lesson that procrastination does pay off. I got it done in the end. Um, so I'm going to go over basically all the stuff I did in June. I'm going to go through my list. We're gonna have a little look around the farm, uh, see what's happening, and then I'm gonna talk about what uh, I wanna accomplish in July. So let's get started. So I have my handy dandy list here, and number one on the list, order wood for tool shed. First thing on the list, I didn't accomplish it. It was the most important thing, uh, and I didn't do it. And let me show you why. So the main reason I did not order the wood is because I don't have a design in mind for the tool shed yet because I wasn't sure if I wanted to have the tool shed here at the end of what will be a sort of carport area or if I wanted to put it where my water tank is up here which would have complicated things because the wall is curved behind there or if I wanted to put it here. I've decided where I'm going to put the thing, but I haven't decided the method I'm going to use. I don't know yet if I'm going to timber frame it or if I'm going to use sort of an internal structure and mud instead. Um, so we'll see. All that's going to come at you in its own video at some point, so I won't ruin the surprise. Um, let's get on to the second thing. Finish the floor. I finished the floor halfway. Uh, I don't know what I specified I wanted to get done in the previous video. But I basically did the wooden part of the floor, but I didn't finish the stony part of the floor. I worked pretty hard on it. It took me a while and I got the floor down with some cork insulation underneath. Uh, it was a, an enjoyable job. Uh, I really liked doing it. My intention for the floor was actually to finish uh, the entire thing, which meant also adding a sort of stone entranceway. I got the wooden part of the floor done. I didn't get the stone part done. So that's something I can finish off hopefully in July. The third thing on my list was to repot my banana plants um, and to put the, the large banana plant into a new bed. I worked on this for days. It was actually a weirdly enjoyable job, sort of sifting through the roots of the smaller plants, putting them into their own pots, and just feeling like I was actually taking care of my bananas instead of abusing them. They were all really crammed in some of those pots, and now they all have new homes. So now the small ones are in new pots. The largest one has a lot of space. Hopefully the small ones will grow big. Uh, give me new bananas of their own and I can sell some of them as well. Actually now might be a good time to go check on them and see how they're doing. So the big daddy banana looks okay. Some of these leaves uh, could probably come off um, and the smaller ones are looking really good. So I'm quite happy with how this is going. I'm keeping him nice and well watered and yeah he seems he seems pretty good. And this is the smaller tree whose banana babies I stole and you can see it's got some new growth here. It looks really healthy. The little baby ones that I left with it don't look super happy, but uh, we'll see how it goes. And then these are the ones that I harvested and put into pots. And they're all looking pretty good, except for whatever is happening here. And then there's a few more over here. Um, this guy's looking pretty crunchy. It's probably the one that doesn't look as ha happy as the rest. And then this one is kind of looking sort of okay. They do take a little while to spring back to life after being repotted, so I am quite hopeful. And so job, job the fourth was add trellises to cucumbers, which I did. I bought a length of fence from the uh, agricultural shop. I got these sort of plasticky uh, support pole things and I just wired the whole thing together and then directed my cucumbers to climb up the trellis. So it was actually kind of a fun job. Um, it's something I put off for a really long time. I really don't like making trellises. I don't know why. So making something that is more permanent um, just feels a little bit better for the soul. Last year I just did a whole bunch of stuff with canes, fairly weak bamboo -y sort of stuff, um, and it all just sort of disintegrated. So it has to be done again every year if you use that material, whereas with the material that I chose this time, hopefully it will survive long into the future. I'm not going to take a look at the trellises now because you can see what I've done in the videos, but um, I will take you down there for a look in a future video coming soon uh, where I give you a, a, a summer garden tour. Job number five was to install irrigation um, and set up a new tap. I failed on this yet again. This one's kind of a weird one for me. Irrigation is probably the one thing that will make my life like very happy and easy. 
uh, as far as the garden goes. And for some reason, I have this block about doing it. So I don't know what it is. I have all the stuff I need, which is it's just weird I haven't done it. So I'm going to have to just get it done. I think I'm going to make it my top priority in July. Hopefully, I'll have this done early this week, and I can check it off July's list. Sixth thing on the list was to finish buckets of lime. I had these two really annoying large 50 liter buckets filled with lime, coarse sand, and fine sand. And they were just in my way. They were all over the place. So I ended up putting the coarse sand onto a section of my kitchen wall, and the fine sand mostly went down into the cistern, the water tank, uh, into the pointing between the rocks. So got those out of the way. However, I have created two new buckets of lime that I'm hoping to work through, so um, it seems like just an endless cycle of lime. It does last a long time in the bucket, as long as you kind of keep topping it up with water, so um, it can sit there for a while. I have these ones a little bit more out of the way, so uh, it's not quite as pressing. Number seven, finished planting my garden. Um, yeah, I had uh, a lot of little plants sitting in pots up at the top terrace that I had to water separately from the rest of the garden. They were in the way, they were sort of expanding out into the driveway area and I wanted to get them in the ground so I focused mainly on a couple of garden beds built up the beds made those and planted some artichokes some sunflowers uh, some jalapenos and yeah the garden is uh, basically done there's a few more areas where next year I might add some more beds but for now it's all good everything's growing in there and it looks really nice and there's a lot of stuff happening let me tell you it's pretty uh it's pretty overwhelming, it's pretty exciting, and I've got a lot of stuff that's going to need processing very, very soon. Uh, the next job on my list was another thing that I accomplished fairly recently, that was building kitchen shelves. So you saw the first part of that uh, in the video yesterday, and you'll see the second part uh, on Friday, this coming Friday. So I won't give too much detail on that because you've basically just seen it and you're about to see more. So all you need to know is I got the job done. It was a mostly enjoyable job. There's lots of frustrations that you'll see in the next video, but um, I'm really happy with how they turned out and I'm excited to show you. And so the ninth thing on the list was, um, I know when I made the June video, the sound went kind of funky and I wanted to say that I wanted to brine olives and preserve lemons, but the sound went weird on one of the things. So one of them got edited out of the video completely. I forget which one, but the only thing I accomplished was brining some olives. Uh, I didn't do the lemons. Hopefully I'll get those done uh, this month. Um, yeah, brining olives, it's my first time. I soaked them for six months um, and then, yeah, just kind of put them in jars with some spices and things. I'll make a video of that whole process uh, at some point in the future, but I got it done and the olives are sitting in my fridge. I haven't taste tested them yet, but I'm looking forward to giving them a try. And the last thing on my list for June was to make some YouTube improvements. So. Yeah, just try to make little improvements uh, each video I make, um, or each month, maybe try to learn something new. And in June, I learned a little bit more about using different transitions between the videos. And the main thing I did was, was music. Uh, you'll notice a lot of music in the June videos. Um, that's because I, I joined uh, the Adobe, I don't know, music thing where you pay monthly and you get a certain number of songs. And I've started incorporating those into the videos. So. That was a major improvement. Um, I'm really happy with how those are going. I think the music has a really cool element to all the videos. And so June was a success. I'm excited to crack on with the work for July. I've got a lot of things uh, planned that I think are pretty interesting, especially building stuff. I've got a list, but I thought instead of that, we could use this handy visual aid. I got a whiteboard, so I'm gonna write the list on there and then I can keep consulting it easily and check stuff off as I go. So first, we've got a few carryovers from June that I'd like to get done in July. Ordering wood for the tool shed, I probably won't aim to do that because like I said, I'm not exactly sure what materials I want to use, but I have decided on a location, so I'd like to try to get the foundation done. Or if not done, at least marked out and partially done. That's my obscure goal for that. The second thing would be the irrigation, definitely number one priority, gotta get that done, and adding a tap. And then also the stones in front of the door. I'd like to get my floor completely, totally done. Uh, not just 50% done, so uh, making kind of a, a stone entranceway is another thing I'd like to do in July. The first thing on the July list is something that I've actually been working on consistently since about April. It's my water tank. I've been trying to repair it, trying to partition it. Um, let's just go take a look. I'll show you what I've done so far and show you what I'm hoping to accomplish in July. 
I've got a couple more buckets of sand that I have to go get myself from the building yard. And I'm hoping to crack on starting today in the water tank. So I'll empty the water tank out onto my trees and I will get in there. And that means basically mixing up concrete, possibly laying some bricks, possibly throwing it into the holes at the bottom and possibly pointing the walls. I'll be doing all of these things in July, but I can only work on this in little fits and starts because I have to continually fill the tank up so I can replenish my IBC tanks up at the top. So this is a massive job, weirdly enjoyable, and something I'll be focused on in July. This is going to be easier to show you than to tell you, so job number two, build the cob wall. I'm going to take you inside the house and show you what I'm talking about. So this corner is mostly insane. Uh, it's meant to be a closet and will one day be a closet, but right now it is a home to spider webs and uh, lots of uh, chaos and wires. Down here, you may see the beginnings of a cob wall. It's going to come up to here and it's going to separate my wood stove from the closet and eventually the closet will also be built up as well. I'm not sure how yet. So for July, I want to get this cob wall finished. And I'd also like to, as a bonus, do something with this sort of corner so that it's a little less uh, crazy. So my third job for July is to make more buckets of lime putty. I'm running low and I need more. The problem is I can't really find the Calviva that I need, which is the dry form of it, to be able to slake it. So. I'll need to find it, and then I'll need to put it into the orange oil drum and yeah, get, get it bubbling and make some more. Because the longer lime sits in those buckets, the stickier and more wonderful it becomes and the easier it is to work with. So I need to track down some Calviva and I need to get some more of that stuff on the go. Welcome to my kitchen window and the kitchen feature wall. So this will eventually be pointed with lime so it looks all nice, but there's also a window element that I'd love to get a window box into somehow. This is going to take a lot of thought. I have a few ideas of what sort of window I'd like. Um, it'll be probably a really fun job for me to do. And yeah, uh, it's just another sort of creative kitchen job to add into the mix. And then eventually I'll just keep working my way around the corner, up the top, and keep creating cabinets, keep plastering, and keep making the place a little bit less gloomy and a little bit more kitchen-like. So life is really great right now, but I've been spending a whole lot of time on my computer uh, editing videos and doing stuff like that, um, which, is, which is new for me. And I'm used to going for walks and spending some time outside. Um, and I want to get back to that. I can really tell that I've been sitting a lot and I don't love it, but I know that I need to start going for walks at least a couple times a week um, just to get out there, get physical. The work I'm doing at the moment is quite finicky uh, and sort of more slow and thoughtful than physical. Um, so I need to get some exercise, get off my computer, go outside and uh, yeah, go explore the area a little more often. And if I don't put it on this list, I know it won't happen. I'll just keep postponing it and postponing it. So it's on the list. My goal will probably be to try to go for walks for at least three or four hours a week. But don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely loving this YouTube thing. I've been doing it since April 1st, so it's only been three months, and it's really been quite bonkers. I don't know much about YouTube, if I'm honest with you. I definitely didn't know anything about making a YouTube channel, and People keep telling me the amount of subscribers I have um, and the number of views I'm getting is pretty impressive for such a short amount of time. So I'm really trying to keep it going. I'm really enjoying the process. And I'm really thankful that people are watching what I'm doing and, and enjoying it. So it's just such a, an opportunity to share what I'm doing and, and connect with people and learn a lot of new things along the way. So with that in mind, uh, I'll want to uh, improve something else this month. So last month it was music and sort of learning transitions and things, and this month it'll be something different. I don't know what that'll be yet, but I'll figure it out along the way, and uh, I'm looking forward to, yeah, just continuing to make better videos each time.
And so that's it. That's my list. I've got three things carrying over from June, six more things for July for nine in total. And I'm going to say goodbye because I have to finish editing this video so I can get it out today because I left it to the last minute like a damned fool. But hopefully I get it all done and hopefully you're watching this on time on Saturday. I'll see you in the next video where I continue building my kitchen shelves. And if you like the stuff that I'm doing, please like, subscribe, share it around and all that stuff. And thanks as always for watching. Wish me luck for my tasks for July and I'll see you in the next video.